Fran were at probably one of the most famous starts in the car, the mile start of the 1,000 and 2,000 guineas. Uh, a nervy place to be, but nonetheless, you must get some sense as to the well-being of your horse having come down the canter down on the right-hand side. And unusually so, I didn't realise that there was such a kink. It's not a straight mile as such. No, it's a bit of a perception here in Ireland. We call it a straight mile to Cora Dave. It's anything but. It's a dog leg. He got a furlong and a half of a straight run out of the stalls here to mile start. But when you meet the six and a half, you're on a turn, a gradual turn that when you straighten up, you got about four and a half furlongs of a straight to contend with. And uh, that can be key, that point of the race. Here to start will be also, but that point of the race in determining your finishing outcome. And as soon as you cross over and bypass the elbow and the straight, uh, you know, you have a good sensible gallop. When will the race begin in earnest? Oh, Dave, out of stalls, it's most important just get a good start at the mile here, just to get up and get in, because one thing you don't want to be done in the curra over the mile is being marooned on the outside with, without cover. You need, you know, you need to go forward into a nice position or be in behind the leaders so you're getting cover and getting out of the wind, if you like. If you find yourself on the edge of the pack, you're going to have to work very hard to get into the race and you're not going to finish out unless you're very good. And Fran, you're going to get to the mid part of the race. We see the drone footage here and it's quite low on the track and it's quite a steady pull the whole way home from where? Furlong and a half out? From a furlong and a half out, Dave, we'll pick it up, go into three furlong mark, there is a little rise and a slight deviation of the ground, but from a furlong and a half out, you're climbing up the hill to the finish line at the Curra and that's where the result can change markedly if you like uh, if you've gone too fast early on you will pay a price for that at the finish and the one thing that's very noticeable in Ireland is that we tend to race slightly different maybe from other parts of the world lads will hang on and especially in those good horses it must be a, a great feeling to be on a horse that you know is going to pick up and finish it is and you just got to time it right because if they haven't gone too quick early on by the time they cross the junction of the track at Tree Furlong Market, that's when people begin to think about their next move and you've got to be aware of what's happening around you and be planning maybe half a furlong ahead of yourself to get a run to the outside to get into a clear going challenge. It's a perfect racetrack, you know, it's a, that's one thing about the curry, you know, it's unique, it's natural, but the way it's all fell into place over hundreds of years, this lovely sweep you get here from the last three furlongs, climbing up gradually, it's a true and fair test.